Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to be going over taxonomy in Drupal 7. So what taxonomy is, is a really powerful core module. It gives you the options to basically uh, sort and um, really just categorize your content. So a taxonomy is sort of just like its metadata, um, its tags, um, sort of like if you were to have like a, an, a WordPress blog or something where you are giving your blog post a different types of categories or yeah, like I said tags, um, you would then use a taxonomy in Drupal. What's great about this taxonomy is you're not confined to being tags or whatever. You can use them to be all sorts of things. So uh, when you click on or to get to taxonomy, you go to structure and then taxonomy. And so, as you can see here, uh, it says taxonomy is for categorizing content. So, uh, it says, uh, you know, you can create a new vocabulary called fruit, and terms would be apple or banana. As you can see here, I have a, cat or a vocabulary already, and it's called tags. If we click edit vocabulary here, you can just see it has a description of what this is and its name. Okay, so let's go under list of terms here, and you can see that I've already created some tags, and these were actually created during the creation of a uh, journal. So if I click add content up here, let's open this in a new window. Uh, I'm going to go to article, which is actually my journal postings, and here's a field called tags. So just like if you're used to any other blogging platform, you could enter your tags uh, comma separated and then once you save your page this uh, blog post will have these tags associated with it uh, and what that will do is it's actually going to just add those tags to this list of already existing tags and if your blog post sees multiple ones or ones that it already knows let's say uh, something is a tutorial um, in my uh, journal if I start writing tutorials I'll write TU. It's going to find that tutorials already exist as a tag. So we can click that and then click comma. Okay, so then we got, just want to add another one. You could just keep adding them. And if they don't already exist, they get added to the list. And if they do already exist, it just gets sent to be categorized as that. So let's show you how to create a new vocabulary. So let's go back to our taxonomy. And so sure, this is tags, these are for journal posts, but I want to create a taxonomy or vocabulary for what types of projects I have. So whether they're going to be, um, this project is whether it's a tutorial or the project is development, the project was design, or just totally something out there. Uh, let's create a new vocabulary. So I'll click add, and we'll just call this project type. And for the description, you can come up with your own or whatever you're doing. So this is the uh, type of project. It's uh, fairly straightforward. Uh, since I'm using the site myself, I'm not going to take too much time on my descriptions. I know I'm going to know what everything is going to be. Uh, but of course, if you're building the site out for a client or another content manager, you're going to want to make sure these descriptions are nice and um, just useful to whoever is going to be visiting and seeing this thing for the first time when they're trying to understand it. So let's click Save here. And then here is our project type. And let's click this Add Terms button right here. And so we just want to add a term. You can give it a description if you want. Uh, you don't have to. It's not required. So I'm just going to call this, let's see. Uh, this will be just development. Okay. Uh, under relations, you can have it be uh, a parent term. You can have it be underneath another term. So this is the uh, just a standard parent term. In fact, I'm not going to get into uh, sort of nesting or anything like that. So okay, we'll click this. It's going to generate an automatic alias for this. So let's click save. Okay, create a new term development. As you can see, it actually kicks you right back out to this create another one. Because frequently if you're creating a uh, term or you're creating taxonomy terms, 
you're going to want to be doing a, a few of them. You're not going to just want to do one. So it sets it up nice and easy for you. So let's do another one. That one was development. Let's say this is design. Well, you can spell that right. Design. Okay, cool. Same thing. Save it. Perfect. Now let's go back to our taxonomy project type. Okay, so now we have our two design development. Let's just click edit on one of these. And now you can see this URL path that it generated. So project type development. So uh, let's, let's check out what happens when we go to that URL on our site. I'm just going to take any random window and go to that project type development. So this says development. There are no, there's no, uh, no content classified with this term. Well, let's change that. So what I'm going to do is let's go to our content types. And for our projects, I need to add a taxonomy reference field. So if we click down here, it's actually called a term reference. You can see that as the field type. You can choose between select list, uh, check boxes, or autocomplete. The autocomplete is what we used for the tags. However, since I'm only uh, going to have a set number of options that I'm just going to check and uncheck, I'm going to do check boxes. Uh, this way, because I'm not going to physically be tagging things, uh, I want to have a, a bunch of set options, and those are the only ones that can be. Okay, so check boxes. And we're going to call this project type. Okay, it's already got it. Okay, let's maybe move this up right here and save. And okay, save field settings. Okay, so this is going to say project type and a design development, which is the default value. I'm just going to not have it select anything by default. And uh, I'm going to let you be able to select unlimited amount because sometimes I design and develop. Sometimes I just de design. Sometimes I just develop. Okay, save that. Now let's edit some of our content. Let's edit this Perpetua project. We'll click Edit. And then I'll scroll down here. And I'm going to say I did design and development. Uh, this was a Magento site. And um, design and developed it. And OK, so now that it has that, let's go to that piece of content. Cool. OK, so uh, under here, project type, development, back to where we were. Let's refresh this page. And you can now see that this page has our information, Perpetua, uh, the name and the description, and a Read More button. If we click this, you can edit this right here, and it's going to be able to edit your content. So if you wanted to keep adding them, uh, if you visit this URL, Project Type Development, uh, you're going to get all of the ones I developed, which is really nice because it sort of builds out a list automatically for you. Alternatively, you can build something like this in views, and we're going to be going over that in a future tutorial. Uh, if you want to have more control over sort of what fields are coming out here, or just the general, you know, you want to have more control over what's getting output with this taxonomy. So this is how you create a vocabulary, you set up your own taxonomy, and then you can add it to a content type to classify your projects. This way, you can show certain types of ones. You could build a menu that had all your different types of tags out in it, and it would link to, you know, project type, development, or uh, project type, design. Of course, these are both the same ones. So uh, you could have your menus here, and it could be all working, and your content could be all categorized and easily accessible. So that is how you use taxonomy in Drupal to categorize your content. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, you know, leave a comment on the video or let us know what you're thinking. Thanks. Bye.